All right, cheap hydroponics. Today I'm gonna to show you how to use the Master Blend. I have tried every nutrient from Aero Garden, Fox Farm, General Hydroponics, Humboldt Secrets, General Organics, uh, now I'm finally trying the Master Blend. Now, the difference between the Master Blend is this is dry. All these nutrients, they are dry. Now, the advantage of a dry nutrient, it's not mixed. So you get a lot more nutrient for your dollar. I paid $40. I got 12 and a half pounds. This is going to be enough nutrients to last me a couple years. I mean, it's crazy. Now, because it has the Epsom salt, the calcium nitrate, I'll go over that more. That equals CalMag. Well, so CalMag is included in the master blend. So this is one, two, three. That's all you need. This is all I use. I could add seaweed and roots and shark and there's so much other stuff you can add. Man, this master blend has been doing great. I mean, I used to have uh, the General Hyd Hydroponics box kit. It was 12 bottles that you had to mix. 12 different nutrients together. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, there's one for seaweed, one for your roots, one for your CalMag, one for your A, one for your B. I mean, oh, God, it was nuts. You know, this is the most basic, easiest thing you can use. You know, so to start off, what do I do? One gallon bottle half full. I use warm water because the dry nutrients absorb into the warm water better. All right, so I'm going to take, what is this? This is a quarter teaspoon. And we're going to go to a quarter teaspoon of the master blend. I mean, that's it. That's all you need. I mean, a quarter teaspoon of this amount, it's going to last forever. I mean, that's a lot of nutrients if all you're using is a quarter teaspoon per gallon. So put it in there. Then we're going to go to the Epsom salt. The Epsom salt is basically your magnesium. Magnesium is one of the most common deficiencies. I'm going to use half that, so I'm going to use an eighth a teaspoon. I know everybody's sitting there going, oh my God, you're using teaspoons. Why aren't you weighing it? Man, I have a scale for my gold. I could weigh this out. It really isn't worth it. I mean, the difference between weighing it and measuring it, it, it it's negligent. It's not even worth it. If you want to be precise, if you want to be a scientist, yes. It's best to use a scale to measure two, one, two. Am I going to get that into detail? Hell no. I'm going to go this teaspoon, that teaspoon, that teaspoon. That's a two, one, two to me. And, and others have used it for years. It works just fine. So I just added both those. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna cap it and mix it up, and we're gonna come back. But after I come back, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to fill this up with another two thirds of water. So it'll be right here about the, not two thirds of water, we're gonna get to the two thirds line. So we're gonna get to right here. So right now we've got a half a gallon, we've added the master blend, and we've added the Epsom salt. Two parts. One part. It was a quarter teaspoon, an 
eighth a teaspoon. Now, depending on your strength, we'll get into that in a minute. I'll, I'll show you. So let me go ahead and mix this up, add a little more water, and we'll come back and we're gonna add the calcium nitrate. All right, so I just shook it up, mixed in the master blend and the Epsom salt. I added a little more water and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the calcium nitrate. This is your calcium. You know you got cal, CA, and you have mag, magnesium, mag, cal, mag, I mean that's the most important thing. thing. This other stuff, it's really good, but without your mag and your cow you're gonna fail so let's go ahead and add the calcium nitrate and like i said people are probably freaking out right now oh my gosh you're supposed to use a scale nope i go by the two one two i've added a quarter teaspoon an eighth and then a quarter that's it Drop it in there. Done. Put a lid on it. Shake it up. All right, now after we're done shaking up, now see, because we've used warm water this whole time, not hot, hot, I like a warm. You know, it's not super hot, it's not super warm. It's just warm because nutrients don't dissolve that good in cold, cold water. So I just use a warm water. Now that it's all dissolved, we're going to go back. We're going to fill it all the way back up and then shake it. So I'll be back in one second after I fill it up and we're going to shake it. All right, just filled it up. Shake it up. It's a lot easier to shake when there's a little bit of air in it. But see, all the nutrients have already got shook up, so we're just, we're shaking up that last little bit of water. Now the next step, TDS meter. The TDS meter is very important. This is going to show you how strong the nutrients are. You know, is this nutrients good for lettuce? six to 800 ppm or is it going to be really strong thousand to fifteen hundred for your tomatoes so we just stick the tds i mean it's not that hard to use a tds meter it's like seven dollars on amazon you hit the button and you stick it in there I need to get a better reading. It says 683. I don't know, you guys can't really read that. But 683, that's the perfect strength for your herbs, lettuce. If you want to go to your peppers or your uh, tomatoes, double it. Instead of a quarter, you add a half teaspoon. Instead of an eighth, you add a quarter. Instead of a quarter, you add a half. It's, it's, I don't want to say it's bat, basic math, but it really is. Okay. So that's on mixing it. Now the next step is going to be testing the parts per million. Now I don't know if it's my water or this master blend has been amazing. I got the pH test strips off of Amazon for like five bucks. You literally just rip off one little piece. Let me rip off a piece. Hold on. All right, I got a test strip. The reason I don't use a pH meter, a pH meter needs to be calibrated when you buy it. It needs to be calibrated uh, every six months. I don't like calibration. It's another step. It's another pain in the butt. I like to keep it simple. 
What's this easiest thing? A strip. You stick it in here. One. Pull it out. Now we're going to go ahead and hold this strip. Sorry. Bad camera work. It looks a little high. I'd say that's about eight. You see the difference of the colors? You got the five, the six, the seven, and the eight. We want it right about six, 6.5. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit, and, and add a little bit of pH up and down. I got this from General Hydroponics. There's a couple other brands. I like this one because it comes with a test kit and the test drops. The test drops are right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add a couple drops of pH down and we'll come back and test it again. All right, so I added a little bit of pH down. It only takes a couple drops. I added seven drops of the pH down. Stick the pH strip back in there. Now we're gonna compare it. Everything's wanna fight me right now. We're looking more to that six, 6.7. And that's what you want. You want right in between the six and the 6.7. You don't want dark red, you don't want red. You don't want going to blue or the green. Right there, I'm right about a six, six and a half. That's a perfect pH. So that's it. I mean, it does take a little more work than the Arrow Garden because you have to use the pH up and down but for the cost I spent $40 I used a few quarter teaspoons I can double it right now to get it to 1200 and you know what I'm gonna do right now let's come back let's go ahead and double it so let's go ahead and get the master blend And then we're going to get the Epsom. See this? You really don't want to do this. Because you're supposed to mix the Epsom and the Master Blend together. Mix it. And then add the Calcium Nitrate. But I'm doing this just to show you guys. What the parts per million will be. Because this is going to be double the parts per million. So if you're growing tomatoes, you're going to want to start with double. Instead of the quarter, you're going to go a half a teaspoon of the Master Blend. Quarter of the Epsom salt, mix it. And then add a half a teaspoon of the calcium nitrate. But you have to do it in that order. So we're going to go ahead... Mix this up. TDS. 12.45. God, I wish you guys could see that. It doubled it. Is it 12.45? 12.38. 12 12.53. It doubled the parts per million. Just by doing that. Now if I take the strip. Give me a new strip. Stick a strip in there. It still looks good. 
six, six and a half. I'd roll with that. It could be a little lower, but it's not bad. It's not too high. It's not too low. See, it almost looks like that orange right there. I'd roll with it. So, for all the nutrients I've used, you know, all of them are going to take a little bit of testing. You're going to have to test the pH. You always, I don't even care if you're using Aero Garden, you're going to have to test the TDS because you don't know the strength of the nutrients. You know, Aero Garden, you don't have to worry about the pH as much, but you still need to know your TDS. You know, it, it's important to know your strength of nutrients. So that was a long video, a lot longer than I wanted, but it's the master blend. I got these containers, dollar store, one dollar each. I'm cheap, dollar, dollar, dollar. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Keep on following me.